and let us all that we can to build a better future. So Dave Chappelle triggered a lot of, uh, well, Zionists. He had a huge show in Boston, and uh, Dave Chappelle was calling out Israel's war crimes in Gaza. I know. Let's go ahead and pull this up here. We got a short little video as well as an article and some commentary from Dave Chappelle himself. So let's play this video. Now, right now, it is muted due to copyright music, but let's go ahead and play it. So comedian Dave Chappelle criticized Israel. During the live performance in Boston on October 19th, prompting some audience members to walk out, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal. Oh, my goodness. How, how could that happen? How could that happen? Chappelle condemned Hamas' October 7th attack on Israel that left some 1,400 Israeli dead, but blasted what he claimed were Israel's war crimes in Gaza. Now, if we've been paying attention to social media all across YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, there has been a wave of censorship for those who have been calling out those crimes. The brouhaha started when an audience member of the, uh, uh, of, of the audience uh, told Chappelle to shut up. Now, you don't do that at a comedy show after he said he didn't think people should lose their jobs for supporting Palestinians. Now, look, I've been to a lot of comedy shows. Now, here, here's the golden rule. You don't interrupt the performer. You, you don't do that unless you want to be dragged through the coals. Now, occasionally, occasionally, the performer on stage might point to an audience member here and there, have a little conversation with them, and then add them into their joke just a little bit, you know? Hey, but that's that's out of fun. It should be considered a high honor. But you don't be stupid and challenge the performer. You just don't do that, especially somebody like Dave Chappelle. You just That's, that's one of those big no-no's. Other members of the audience cheered and shouted, free Palestine, while others shot back. What about Hamas? Witnesses told the journal. Continuing on. A spokesperson for Chappelle told the outlet that the comedian denies being in Boston that night, despite the show being listed among his dates by ticket outlets. So let's go ahead and go a little bit further. So Dave Chappelle's stand-up routine triggered a walkout by some audience members on Thursday, on Thursday evening after he spoke out about the Israeli-Gaza conflict. Wall Street Journal reports that the comedian aired his views during his performance at the TD Garden Arena in Boston, during which he condemned Hamas attacks of October 7th and also slammed Israel's bombing of Gaza. The paper reports that Chappelle also said the U.S. was guilty of aiding the slaughter of innocent civilians and said war crimes were occurring. Chappelle went on to criticize the Israeli government for cutting off supplies to Gaza's population and blocking humanitarian aid, included by saying that two wrongs don't make a right. Bizarrely, the Daily Mail reports that Chappelle had assisted, had asserted through a spokesperson that he was not in Boston on Thursday evening, but other spectators have come forward with reports of what he said. The Wall Street Journal reports that while one audience member told Chappelle to shut up, others cheered and shouted free Palestine. Some audience members walked out and later posted on social media saying how Chappelle's words had made him made them feel unsafe. Oh, oh, no. Words. Words make you feel unsafe. Oh, no. Oh, no, somebody said something. It's, hey, listen, listen, that's life in general. Everybody, including you, the audience, we've all been living in a world where people say things, okay? Now, if you pay money to go to a comedy show and you can get easily triggered and offended, maybe going to a comedy show isn't for you, okay? You can't let words from a comedian whose job is to make fun of and criticize every single thing, because that's what a good comedian does. It criticize a good comedian criticizes and ridicules everything and knows how to make the audience laugh. Yes. It might make you feel uncomfortable or maybe you don't want to laugh at it, but if it triggers you so much where you got to curl yourself into a little ball, stay inside. After all, it does cost $300 to go outside. Just save your money. Okay. And you know what? Matter of fact, don't watch Netflix. There's going to be something there that's going to trigger you. Don't go on to YouTube because there's going to be something there that's going to trigger you. Turn off all your social media. Just, 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 just live in a little dark corner and just curl yourself up and wrap yourself in your little blanket. And that's how you should live life. Because if you're going to think that somebody's words are going to make you feel unsafe, 
Well, then too bad. Too bad. The audience was cheering Chappelle on during his triad. I was sick. We were sick. I turned to my friends and wife and said, I think it's time to go. You paid money. You paid money to see a show. Co comedians make fun of everything and everyone. Okay? I've hung out with a few comedians. That's what they do. Okay? Don't be stupid with me. The audience, was, and after all, he goes on to say the audience was cheering and everything else. We walked out and met up with many other Jews leaving the show. Never in my life have I felt so unsafe and so fearful of what I was witnessing. Oh, my goodness. What? What were you witnessing? A comedy show? To be afraid? To, to hide in the corner? Be in a little blanket? Now, of course, there, this isn't the first time people tried to cancel Dave Chappelle. It is by no means the first time Chappelle has experienced controversy for his words. In 2022, his Netflix comedy special triggered uh, complaints from a streamer's own staff for his comments on the trans community. Netflix refused to pull the show from its platform, saying it was committed to upholding free speech. And that's the whole thing about comedy. That's the whole thing about comedy. It's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. It's supposed to make you think critically. It's supposed to make you, you know really question every institution. And yes, laugh at the same time. Because look, look, the world is brutal. The world is harsh. The world is insane. It's brutal. So we deserve to laugh. And because of that, everyone should have a chance to, you know, get out of their little safe space. If you're so easily triggered by Dave Chappelle, if you're so easily triggered by anyone giving any kind of criticism towards the Israeli government, well, then too bad. All right, because we've seen this wave of censorship. We've seen uh, adult actress Mia Khalifa uh, get censored. We saw um, some models getting censored as well. We saw journalists lose their jobs or get fired. We're seeing people being deplatformed. We're seeing people being uh, censored. And for what? Giving criticism towards the Israeli government's actions towards what is happening in Gaza when there are hospitals being bombed, civilian shelters being bombed. You know, it's, it's very difficult to look at the imagery on social media and seeing these young kids getting blown up. Yes, and what Hamas did was also brutal. This should be evidence to everyone that something needs to be done in order for peace to be achieved in this maddening world of ours. But unfortunately, we've had politicians for the past decades create an environment of instability and hatred. We have to start looking at this entire crisis on this world, not only just between Palestine and Israel, but worldwide. Because one day we will go too far and it will lead to our inevitable destruction. So if there's going to be a comedian that's going to call it out, criticize it, if there's going to be people in general calling out the actions of a government that's committing war crimes and it triggers you, well, too bad. There's a thing called free speech, and we need to use it for as long as we still have it because it is at risk. And now more than ever, we have to speak out. Now more than ever, we have to hold true to what we believe in. I stand against censorship, and I am definitely against what's happening to a lot of our colleagues in independent media who have been wrongly censored and suppressed. We have to be better. So shout out to Dave Chappelle for doing the right thing and speaking truth to power. Never let anyone censor you.